So in the previous video we installed CAD Sketcher. Now we're going to have a look at CAD Sketcher and how it compares to something like FreeCAD. This will give you an overview of how CAD Sketcher works compared to a normal CAD package. So I'm going to click on the cube in the middle and hit the delete key on the keyboard and I'm going to start sketching. Now we have the 2D elements on the left hand side here and we have the sidebar and the sketcher here and this is what we want to start with if i click add sketch it will add these planes to our view and we can pick which plane we're going to sketch upon now these are called the xy plane because it's along the x and the y axis this one here this one is orientated along the yz plane so z running this way and here's the y axis and this one is orientated along the X, Z axis. So you can see that there, X, Z. Compared to something like FreeCAD, it's basically the same. We start with our project and we create a sketch and we get the same options. So we're placing these upon these planes. So we're going to go for the X, Y plane and we're placed flat upon that plane. So you can see the top there. So we've been positioned along that plane there and we can add some angle. So I'm going to add some geometry to this plane. And I'm just going to add a circle. I'm going to hover over the center point to make this coincident to that center point. So this is the X and Y axis. So coincident to that center point. And we'll create a circle. And hit close. So we've created our sketch within FreeCAD. Over in Blender, it's the same. So we pick the plane we want. And go for the X, Y plane. And our scene hasn't changed because we haven't got a sketcher it's part of blender itself so i'm going to choose 2d circle click on that and what will happen is wherever i click i can create a 2d shape i'll just click once and pull this out let's escape that to get out of that mode and i'm going to hover over that center point so you can see this point here this is a center point that's been added if we look over to the right hand side, we can see entities. And let's pull this out a bit more. So you can see a point has been added to this point here. This is the center point. If I hover over that and click and come out, I've created a circle. So you can see the circle has been added on the right hand side here. And we can edit those. If I edit them, come in, you can see I've got a fixed position. That point is fixed in that center point. So this circle will only move in and out. So it can only be resized along that plane. It can't move because it's restricted by that center point. And that was the coincident constraint. So we create this coincident to that center point. And if I wanted to move that, I have to come into the point that's coincident to. So you can see this one's not fixed, but come into the point that's coincident to and click fixed and uncheck it so it's unchecked now inside there so that means if i hit escape you see i've got the solver space select tool now i can take this and we can move this about so i'm still resizing it you can see that center point is moving if i take the center point and move that i can move the circle in FreeCAD, it's the same. Let's come into that sketch. I've got the circle, and you can see on the left-hand side, I've got constraints. If I select that, that's coincident to there. I actually delete this constraint if I want to move this circle. I can move it in and out, and also I can move that point as well. If I want it back, I'll take this point and this point and make them coincident again. Back in CAD Sketcher, if I wanted to do that, I have to actually pull this point back into the position that I want and make it fixed. Or I can come into that point, which is this one, if I click on it. Click on the point here, you can see it highlights the right hand side. Edit, and we can set the X. Zero, and I hit enter, edit that again, set the Y to zero as well. So 
So that's in the middle now. And we click on the edit again and make it fixed. So it can't move. So this can't move now. Now, how do I make this solid? Well, in CAD Sketcher, what you have to do is come up to the convert type and drop this down and convert your sketch to a mesh and hit leave sketch. This is now a mesh. And we can add a solidify modifier to add some thickness to this by coming over to the modifiers. First selecting the sketch, select it there. Modifiers, add a modifier, solidify, and we've got the thickness here. So I'm adding three millimeters for the thickness. The offset's gone down. We'll change this to one. Click off and it brings it up this way. In FreeCAD, let's close that. If I wanted to add thickness to this, I'll add a strewed or a pad, depending on what workbench I'm in. So I'll select the sketch, add the pad, three mil, and hit OK. So we've got that one there. Remember, CAD Sketcher is an extension for Blender. So it's not a CAD tool, it's a CAD based sketching tool. So it's not a full CAD package. It's not what it's intended for. So if we wanted to add, say, another sketch to this, we can add sketches to other planes. So I can take this face and attach a sketch to it. To do that, if I come over to the left hand side, you can see we've got this tool here. And if I click on it, we've got two different selections. Add a work plane or add a work plane to a face. So what I do is I select that and click the faces that I want. So if I click the top face, so I've selected that face, it will add a work plane to that. If I select another face now, so the side, then it will add a work plane along here. If I right click or hit escape, the work plane will be added. So I can sketch upon here now. Click the work plane, select it, add sketch. I'm now sketching upon this plane. And I can add the shape that I want and add, say, another circle to that plane, like so. We convert the type to mesh and leave the sketch. So we can see that in our entities that's been added. We haven't gone through constraints. I'm just showing you how this works. And we do the same, we add a modifier. And if I wanted to pad this, I'm gonna go for solidify. I could go for a solidifier, then a boolean if I wanted to. And we add a thickness of one millimeter offset one so go upwards click off so we've got that there we would add a boolean modifier to boolean these two together let's have a look over in freecad what we would do there so going back to freecad well we select the face so very similar create a sketch add the circle so into the center point hit close and then click on the sketch and click the pad. So selecting the face and then creating the sketch, we'll align that sketch and attach it to that face as though it's attached to a plane. Put that to one millimeter and hit OK. So we've got our model in FreeCAD and our model in CAD Sketcher. To boolean these two together, well, we select one of these. Again, add the modifier, boolean. Come down to find the modifier. It's going to ask you for an object to boolean with. So select the eyedropper, and then select the object, and select what we want: union, intersection, etc. And now it's been added to there. But as you can see, we've got some. Distortion on here, if we come up and have a look, we've got the individual parts here. So we've got the sketch, we come in, we can hide this one, and we've got our finished object here. 
I'm not using shortcuts on here, just to show what it's like from someone who's coming from a non-Blender background. Over in FreeCAD, because I've picked the part design, the Boolean is ultimately done between these. So you can see we've got the pad and the previous pad there. So these are all one body. So we don't have to do the Boolean. If I was using something like the part, then I would actually do go through the same process as what we did in CAD Sketcher. Because we break these from sketches, we can go back and edit those sketches if we wanted to. So in CAD Sketcher, if I select the last sketch, edit that, then I can bring this out from the sketch and this will alter the underlying geometry. We have the same in FreeCAD as well. So we come into that pad, we'll click the sketch, we can alter the sketch and hit close. And that is parametric as well. So that's a very quick overview of how CAD Sketcher works compared to something like FreeCAD. In our next lesson, we're going to start to use constraints to build a very simple object. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you again soon. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3dstudio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.